violence continues across Bangladesh. Scenes like this are now typical as opposition parties vent their frustration on the streets. In recent weeks, swathes of Bangladesh Nationalist Party leaders have been arrested on charges of instigating violence through strikes like today. Those arrested include the Secretary General of the party. The party headquarters are almost empty now. 200 of our top leaders have been arrested, so we are protesting. Another demand is the restoration of a caretaker government for the next elections. They want to maintain pressure on the ruling Awami League government to step aside before campaigning begins. But Awami won the 2008 elections by a landslide and say they won't bend to such demands. We have a, a zero-sum game within our political setup that whoever uh, comes to power uh, will control everything. And when they come to power, they come to power with absolute power. And, uh, and, and this particular government, as we know, was elected with a huge mandate, got to three-fourths of the seats in the parliament. And in many ways, probably, this is the, the seed of the present situation. That situation is spiralling. As opposition leaders are arrested on charges of instigating violence, more violent protests are held in response. The result is devastating for most Bangladeshis. <coughs> This woman is mourning the death of her husband, a truck driver killed by protesters for delivering goods during a strike. With frequent strikes, some Bangladeshis are getting desperate and braving the roads. But the streets won't truly calm down until elections decide a clear winner in this power struggle. And Bangladesh emerges from its most challenging year yet. Al Jazeera, Dhaka.